How do we measure the health of our society? What makes some people or communities healthier than others? Population health researchers attempt to answer these questions by looking at an individual's social, economic, and physical environments. When looking at the health of whole communities, however, researchers must examine the lives and experiences of many individuals. One of the best ways to do this is to use administrative data, personal information that was originally collected for another purpose. As British Columbians move through life, they generate data. When a baby is born, the birth certificate. Other life experiences, such as early education, career choices, hospital visits and other health-related issues, getting married, birthing a child, attending college or university, and dying, also produce data in the form of various records and documentation. This type of unique information is crucial to learning about what is and isn't making us and our communities healthier. Administrative data is collected and stored by a variety of government agencies and departments, who we call data stewards. Because of the sensitive nature of much of this personal data, data stewards have policies and procedures like the Freedom of Information and Protection of Privacy Act to keep it secure and safe. When a data steward provides personal information for research purposes, the only people who are able to access it while it is still identifiable are programmers who are qualified, trained, and experienced in dealing with privacy-sensitive data. Programmers prepare the data for research and remove information that may identify a person. In order to access data, researchers must outline their research question and demonstrate its contribution to society. For example, linking between certain jobs and development of disease. If a request is approved by a data steward, the researcher must sign a confidentiality agreement and legally agree not to use the data for any other purpose. Looking at data at this individual level means it doesn't simplify issues or questions. But we must also ensure the anonymity of the data and provide researchers with a secure, privacy-sensitive way to access and use the data. Once our decision makers understand the research, they can make or change policy based on evidence. And that one change can make the whole community healthier. For example, based on neighborhood rates of child vulnerability, British Columbia made decisions about where to pilot and now expand strong start programs around the province. Every individual person's experience can contribute to valuable research which may then lead to policy change that benefits everyone. Everyone contributes, everyone benefits. <laughs>